What is important for the teacher is to have something special in her class, a program, something like a menu, and then I go into a special direction and I have some um, uh, really precise things about my school in Paris Opera. And so I believe that it's my work to take them with me in this direction as they would be in the company with Paris Opera Ballet. So for me, if I have a good program in my head, then I bring them in this direction. And then after in the class, well, I can see maybe I have to give a correction for an arm, so it makes it more like a Paris or Ballet pour le bras. But uh, for me, it's not a trouble at all to see different styles and uh, different schools. Uh, and you know, it's about ballet, so we have the same language. I'm looking for people that are actually passionate and willing to experiment. And also, I like people that uh, are responsible, independent, creative. Expecting here to find maybe someone who has the ability for the future. I've been there, so just loving what I do and, and try to help people also to. I wish I had also sometimes so much people to tell me what to do and how to do and uh, that was a bit just in front of ballet so your colleagues would help you and then uh, Bill was also very directional in what you wanted to do so then you could do whatever you want you know it was you know American way you know if you want to make it you make how you want but you make it I think it's very important for the world of ballet to have all this company, you know, and not to put one side, you know, oh, we are the contemporary with the classical, you know. I think everybody needs everybody to be connected and to put dance, you know, slowly into evolution and then uh, um, to give the dancers of the future a reason to, you know, to be or a reason to exist. First of all, I like intelligent dancers who are open as well to other arts, not only dance, 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 so they have to be open to digest as well other forms of art, because I work as well with painters and, and, and uh, musicians together, so you have to be open for this kind of work and de uh, art development. So this you see normally latest when you start with improvisation with the people, so then you can see where is their skills and where is their interest as well, where they should go. In order to be prepared for a company today, in your last year of school, I think you should have been exposed to many different uh, choreographers already. Because when kids come to audition for a company, you can see if they can move or they have a little background in doing more contemporary or, you know, a Killian Forsyth, any of those things, they really stand out when um, teenagers have had uh, some experience with it. sticks out that I think needs to be worked on more, the element, is musicality. And I'm not meaning one, two, three, four, but you know, one and a two and a three and a four and a how it connects together. You know, I, I feel a lack of awareness 
in how they get from point A to point B. They just do the positions and all that. So that's important. Uh, and that goes together with musicality because you can feel the flow of the music. So I'd say that's for me. And learning quickly. Being taught how to learn. And I feel like that has not been taught in general. So I think that's something we really got to think about in our training because there's a way to learn, to feel it, and learn it by feeling, as well as watching, but also by feeling, and then you become aware of what you're doing. Classical work and uh, contemporary choreography and, and are very well, uh, very much connected. And the the approach you have to a classical ballet is very similar to a one to a contemporary ballet because it's about it's more than just the steps what you're doing on how you're doing them. It's how you're feeling the steps and how it is inside your body to do them. You know, a simple tendu or a, a, a raccourci, a whatever, a classical pirouette, there is always something that comes from inside and just an emotion. they all emotional uh, movement. It's dance, it's ballet. You need to feel all this movement. very important now for the young generation. As you can imagine, the selection is becoming more difficult all the time. We see it in the conditions, you know, there's 200 people coming and we have three contracts, for example. Basically, we are there to help you and to give you advice. And sometimes it might be hard and we give, you know, 100 corrections, but that's because we know how difficult it is and how difficult the selection is. So really embrace Every teacher you have, all the people, observe your, you know, your, uh, uh, the people that are around you in class, uh, observe the choreographer, observe professionals, go and see performances, uh, educate yourself more in, in general, because that will give you the possibility to go further. That they contribute as artists into their work. So if they have never done any kind of improvisation, they're going to feel insecure and they're going to be like completely still. And I was still a student like they are. And my teacher decided that it was a good thing, you know, once a week to do a little bit of improvisation. And I mean, she didn't have any specific technique, but she just wanted us to be able to dance without a uh, extreme clear direction or series of steps. Getting more knowledge about how to do the things, not just to do it and to give them the correction to do it, is why is that this correction? It's also to make them understand how to use the brain for how to do things. It's not only about giving them the different style, it's also important to work with different uh, choreographers, for example, or uh, uh, meeting directors who so didn't have this, uh, to have this connection. Some people, they never have the, 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 the chance 
to work with the choreographer and it's so important because working with the choreographer, being in a, in a kind of creative uh, environment is so important. This is what made me stay for 20 years in Hamdulillah. Working together with Patrick Rump, uh, says sports scientist from Frankfurt. I'd like to share, I think, uh, a willingness to use different techniques in how you go about dancing. So it doesn't all just have to be classical ballet. You can use your body. Um, a lot of the training we do is just more about sort of basic primal movements. And if you can get your body back into healthy patterns, you'll be a stronger, better dancer. If you can learn that earlier, have a healthier career as well. I think you have to find within the choreography, within the material, um, something that is understood by everybody, so not necessarily using technical terms, um, but using a simple idea, send your line away from you, send it outside of you, bring it in towards you, so you're creating shapes with direction that's very sim simply understood by everybody. Shapes with direction and dynamics, adding to that Let's send our arm away from us quickly. Let's take that into a circle. So it becomes um, more like symbols, actually using symbols that people understand. The two things that I see that are lacking the most when I work with people, even with professional dancers, is musicality and dynamic variety those two things, to, to really be a musical dancer, to understand dynamic variety is so important. But um, also something that David is always saying, just to be brave, just do, don't think about it too much, don't analyze it too much, just try, try again, try again. Uh, explore, use your own brain, don't be a cabbage, <laughs> don't wait to be told all the information. Don't wait for every step to be given, every count to be given. Don't wait to be given things, give. Actually be the person that gives. Then you have a good career. Well, the reason for the workshop is to try to give dancers of all ages the opportunity to experience a process. Um, a process of learning um, material that becomes relevant within choreography and then also is performed and this all happens in a period of an hour and a half with each group so it's very um, it's a very fast process but um, one thing I've learned from working in companies is what I'm looking for are people who are quick and who are brave and so um, I'm just trying to impart um, this information to the dancers here because it's something I'm looking for when I'm working with companies and hopefully they can just have this small lesson in what's required from directors or choreographers. To not have fear, that's what I would say to a dancer or to my younger self as a dancer, I'd say go for it and um, don't wait to be asked um, to be an artist, be one, now.